Okay, we're going to set up admin rights in a Panasonic recorder. Here we're dealing with the WJND 400. We're going to go into Setup, and we want to go to User Manager. So you can see here I've got User Authentication turned on. Uh, you need to turn that on to tell the box that you do want people to enter a password and a code to get to the box and here is user authentication now user authentication is misunderstood user or I'm sorry host authentication host authentication is telling the uh, recorder that you want a certain computer to reach that box and it's the only one so I can actually put the IP address of my computer into this uh, host authentication and then it would look for this particular computer uh, before it would allow me to come in. So you can actually turn both of these on and then not only would I have to use this computer, I would still have to enter my user authentication code. So let's go through this because they're the same exact way. Uh, the administrator has his own tab. Uh, it is the only code that has its own cap tab. So it, it does say ADMIN. Uh, that will be the administrator uh, login. And then you can change the password to what you want. But let's go to a user because uh, it's set up exactly the same. So here under the user, uh, we actually choose the name as well. So here I'm going to choose open door. And then under the password, I'm going to use open door again. And I'm going to make this person a level two person. Uh, so we're going to set up user levels in a minute, but uh, we have different levels that we can put people at, one, two, three, and four, and then we have what their priority is within inside of that level. So this person is going to be a level two, and they're going to have uh, priority number one. Now the default screen, when they first log in, I can choose what camera I want them to see. In this case, I'm going to actually choose it to come up with the quad when it first comes on. Uh, and we'll see why here. You can see I've got four cameras uh, that I actually have connected to this recorder right now. So camera number three, I'm going to actually put so they can't view that at all. So camera number three does not uh, have any view to this actual password. And camera number four is a pan tilt zoom, but I'm going to make that view only. So they're not going to be allowed to pan tilt zoom that around. Now I'll register that from that point there. Oops, I already used that. Uh, well, then we'll go to here. So if I go to open door, if that was a new user, uh, that's how we would register that user. I've already used this name, uh, open door, open door. So I'm going to come down to edit, and I'm going to open the open door, and then I'm going to edit that person. So this is the open door. I can use their password, open door again, open door, I'm leaving them at level 2, access priority number 1, I've already got them set up for the quad view, camera number 2, I've got it so that they can't see that, and here on the view, they can only view 4, they can't actually pan zoom, zoom that around. So that's how you actually edit somebody as well. So same thing whether you're editing somebody or you're setting them up for the first time. So now, if I look at my host, this was the same exact thing that we were just talking about where you do the same thing. You register them in, tell them what they're allowed to do, but instead of using a username and password, you actually type in the IP address of the PC uh, that's going to be connecting to the box and then when you came back to the basic tab you would turn on host authentication uh, rather than user authentication or you could have them both on for an extra level of security so now that we have our user let up levels set up uh, and our password and all of that now we want to define what these levels can actually do so here you can see level two uh, anything that I check would allow them the ability to do that. So if I come down here uh, and do playback, I can actually deny them 
the ability to play back any recording at that time. And then once I hit set, that becomes the level two. So anybody I put into that level two, therefore, would not be able to do that. So the box pops me out when I'm finished, and now it wants to know my username and password. So we'll use the lower level, open door, open door, and we'll log in. So the first thing that'll happen is, remember under open door, I've got them at a level two and I told them this person wants to see the first four cameras in the quad. So that's what it brings up. But camera number two, uh, I did deny them the ability to see this camera. So this camera is not showing on my screen. And if you remember camera number four was a pan tilt zoom camera. So if we actually go to camera number four and we were trying to pan it around by clicking in the screen or going to the bottom and moving it around, the camera will not move from that point. We also, if we do playback, you can remember if I go to the actual hard drive and hit play or go to last, it's going to deny that person because they don't have the authority to do any playback. They can only look at this live and see what they need to do. So you can set up those different user levels and then people would log in under those user levels. So if I log back out of here and then we go back into Explorer and we'll go to the IP address of this, but this time we'll log back in as the admin. That 250. Now if I log in under my admin code, and this is just the default code, which is why it pops up here and tells me it wants me to change that code. But now it's just going to bring up camera number one, which is what this one was selected to do when it's logged in. And if I go to the Panto Zoom camera, and I click on it, I am able to move that camera around. And if I wanted to do playback, you can see here I hit playback and now it's going back into its playback mode until I hit stop and bring it out. 